Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skeletal Mystic. Welcome back to my series, A Day in the Life of a Wizard. In the last episode, I had leveled up yet again, and Dahlia Falme wants to see us to give us a new spell. So I think that that's going to be the first thing that we do. We had also taken care of Romulus, the, the main Cyclops boss, but I forgot that this Ran Tamor fellow has a few more armor quests for us to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do, <laughs> because I always want the goodies first, you know how it works, is mark my location and go see Dahlia Falmea to find out what she's going to give us. I mean, the only thing that could really happen would be if she gives us another spell to make this a little bit easier on us. I don't want to see her. You know what? I've got a mount, I think. Yeah, I've got a one-day stag, so I'll use that. Because this walking really is really slow. Step up. See what Miss Falmea wants to give us. Hopefully it's a spell and not trouble. Oh, okay. Shields. I guess we have to wait a while to get the good stuff. Okay. I'm not quite sure why that boy is saying money, 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 but okay. Excellent. You are now ready to train a new spell. Come see me as soon as you can. Done. Got it. So now back we go. I probably should have that first, but I was too eager to spell. I have to admit it. I was all about the prize. All right. We need to go get haunted minions this time. And I believe, I believe, I really believe that this is the last quest for Cyclops Lane. And if it is, we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna have a day off, get away from all this monster beating and getting ourselves thrashed about the head and shoulders, and fish. Nice, quiet, relaxing fishing. And I can't get none of that, so I'm gonna have to go with this haunted minion. I have the starter deck still. So I don't think I even have room in there to put the new spell in, so, oh well. It will wait. Yep, let's do that. One hit that guy. Oops. And the famous fire fizzle takes effect. Use that nifty scorpion that we got from our last adventure. I think Romulus dropped that amulet for us. I think he did. I think it was him. One of them did, but I think it was Romulus. No, it's Romulus. Romulus is that boy out front. I'm talking about Achilles. I don't even know what guy I'm talking about now anymore. All right. I need to grab some life. And grab another haunted minion. I have to get five of these? Wow, I'll be for an hour. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Let's fire cat. Keep it up. Just so I can kill it in one hit. So we can get out of here a little faster. I'm ready to go fishing. Two, two gross shrouds. Ah, 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 ah. I had to do it. Oh. For a minute there, I thought I was going to suck that rotting fodder in and have to fight him instead. Thankfully, it did not happen that way. Alright, I'm just going to use a regular fire cat in the wand. I'm burning up treasure cards big time. Oh, and a fizzle anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Now. Now I'm going to use a treasure card because I don't want to go two more turns and get the crap beat out of me. I'm kind of only fighting with half my mind. I'm over at the fishing hole with the other one. I want a day off. Give me a day off. This young wizard's been working hard all week long. It's time for some recreational fishing. Three ghost shrouds. I need to find there's some life. And another haunted minion. They seem to be everywhere. They're like, well, 
like children. <laughs> I've noticed at the beginning of this game, there's a lot of like, bugs and creepy crawlies involved. There's a slobbering bat, there's the, the ice bug and, and, the, and the balance bug that barrel under the earth. There's the nasty scorpion that I've got. <laughs> Seems like there's no end to the nasty bugs in this thing. Come on now. You think there's no end to the nasty bugs now? Why you go to chrysalis? <laughs> Nothing but bugs. Sneak past these fodders because I don't want to fool with them. We're right over here by the edge for our last one. So I can get right out of this cave and get done. The fishing hole is calling my name. Come on, fishing. And just for the heck of it, I think I'm going to see if I can duplicate my trick where I caught the catfish on the first try if I get to that part of the quest, if I get enough of the quest done. I don't know if I can buy a fire rate. I'll have to see if I have enough money for a fire rate. Because you have to... I think you have to do some of the quest before you can buy the other lures. I'm not sure. Well, I'll, go, I'll know when I go over and see it. Which... Oh, come... He didn't have a shroud? Really? They all have those ugly little blue vests. How can they not have a shroud? I don't know how I cannot have a shroud because they want to drag it out. And die, Mr. Haunted Minion. Die, die. Oh, <laughs> the famous fire fizzle strikes again. I think that's the only part I have left in my treasure card bit, so. I'll use it again. Ow. I want to get up to the cool stuff like Meteor Strike, where you can just slam everybody. Press button, destroy all <laughs> targets. Okay. You have a shroud? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, see, I'm doing it too quick. They want to keep me in here for a minute. Okay, let's go up some treasure cards here. Good deal. And kill Haunted Minion number 512. And draw this and use it. Get rid of that and zap him with the fire cat. Now tell me, buddy, before I kill you, do you have a shroud? You do? Yeah, good for you. We are out of here. Run for the fishing hole. Run, run. I should have marked Brand Tamar's thing. He's like three miles away. Getting quite wet. I was thinking about running across the pond, but I changed my mind. I don't know why. All right. Thank you very much. These should work just fine. Since I have some extra cloth, here, take this. Why don't you just tell me to get four of them instead, then? Oh, okay, I'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> no arguing. Oh, wow, I am getting into the clothes of many colors here, Jace. Blue, blue hood, orange robe, black shoes. <laughs> okay. Private Quinn and Firecat Alley. I'm not going to Firecat Alley yet. I think it's time to go see Ambrose and close out Cyclops Lane and go fishing. Finally. He's going to tell me to go down to the next lane and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go fishing. I want to go fishing. Young Penny Dreadful of the Marleybone Dreadfuls? Oh dear, that poor girl. Let me look around and see if it got misplaced. Uh, of course it got misplaced. Have you, have you seen this office? Run, 
right. Headmaster Ambrose rummages through one of the many piles of paper in his office. Right. Here it is. Her application got shuffled into a stack of other paperwork. I wonder if Gamma misplaced it. Oh, oh yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Throw Gamma under the bus. I got you. Please go and tell young Penny that we have her application and everything is in order. Explain that I offer my sincere apologies for the confusion. If okay. there's anything else you can do for her, I'd be most appreciative. Her parents were both students here long ago, and we remember them fondly. It's just that Penny's arrival comes at an unfortunate time. Right. Well, just like mine. Quite a daring rescue. I'm glad that you were able to save the students. It bothers me that someone could force General Achilles into a sinister plot against Wizard City. I suspect that M is Malister himself. <laughs> and that's why you're the headmaster, because you're just brilliant. It seems obvious that this is another of Malister's plans to throw us off his trail. With all the wizards busy here in Wizard City, Malister feels free to carry out his ultimate plans. Hopefully, we can catch up with him before then. Hopefully. Keep up the good work. Nolan seems to have warmed to you. <laughs> Perhaps Professor Drake isn't far behind. Right. Nolan, Professor Drake, I think they're father and son. You sure his name isn't Nolan Drake? Have you had a chance to visit the new pet pavilion in the commons? It's a wondrous place where pets can be trained, hatched, and can even race against their friends. It's quite easy to find. Just head towards the library. I was wondering if you might do me the favor of delivering this parcel to Milo Barker, the ringmaster of the Pet Derby. Oh, have a care not to crush or drop it. <laughs> that wouldn't be at all pleasant. Headmaster Ambrose hands you a box <laughs> with some air holes punched in the top. It makes a slight grunting noise when you shake it. <laughs> He's finally getting rid of Professor Drake. He's got him shoved in a box. <laughs> Please convey this item to Ringmaster Barker, post haste. He shall reward you handsomely for your efforts. Right. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Before we do any pet pavilion or any of this other stuff, I'm going fishing. It's time. Let me go fishing. I'll, I'll stop and talk about Penny on the way, but after that, we're going fishing. They found my paperwork? Oh, thank you so much. Hello, wizard. Thanks again for your help earlier. I'm enrolled in classes at the dead school now. There's no classroom or teachers, so I'm doing an independent study. I need to write a report about different types of undead, and I don't know the first things about them. Could you help me with it? Um, if you're doing independent study, why are you writing reports? Would you give yourself homework? Could you do all different types of undead in Wizard City and let me know everything you can? Here are worksheets with the information I need. Just fill them out after each duel. Thanks. So how are you doing the report if I'm doing the work? Oh, okay. I see. You're cheating. All right, I'm going to go over here for just one second. No, I forgot. I don't have to go in there. I don't have to go in there. Hang on. All right. I've done what I'm going to do. We're going to go fishing. It's time. Here, Lucky Hookline. Let's see. Hello, wizard. I'm Lucky Hookline, famous fisher and Pisces collector. You might have heard about the 60-inch whopper I caught. Uh, I don't want to know anything about no 60-inch whoppers, buddy. No? Ah, oh, well, let me tell you. Fishing is a terrific hobby, and you won't find a more relaxing pastime, eh? Huh? <laughs> He's from the Boston Hooklines. If you like, I can teach you how to cast for fish. Magically, of course. Then you can catch your own whoppers. Okay. First off, you gotta be in an area of the spiral populated with fish. You'll know you are when the fishing icon appears. And when you're standing near the pond. Clicking the fishing icon button displays your fishing spells. Fishing is a magical activity in the spiral, you know. Of course it is. Your fishing spells consist of fish catching spells and fishing utility spells. Right. Click on a fish catching spell to cast a magical lure. You want it to land in front of a fish so they notice it. And by in front of, they mean very close in front of. If you don't like where your lure lands, click the cancel spell button to quickly recast the spell. 
Okay, there's some things I want to interject here. I know a little bit about fishing. Don't click the cancel spell button if you want to move your lure. If you're fishing and you've got your lure out there and you want to cancel, hit the space bar. It will, it will cancel your spell without all this moving your mouse and clicking and all that stuff. It will cancel instantly. And then you can change your position and hit the space bar again and it will cast it again. Forget these instructions up here. Watch how I fish. When the magical lure flashes, that means a fish has noticed it and it's coming closer to take a nibble. Right. As it nibbles, the lure will rise and fall a bit. The trick is to wait until the lure completely sinks below the water. Then you reel him in. Timing is crucial, so be sure to hit the space bar quickly to invoke the fish catching spell properly. And so are your spells. Every fish has a magical school type, and fish are more attracted to lures from their same school. When you use a lure correctly, your magic will snare the fish and float it back to you, all right? You'll see the name and size of every fish you catch. Small fries are the tiniest ones, while whoppers are the biggest. Fish are starred in your fish basket. The angler's tome has a record of all the fish you ever caught. Click on it to open it. The angler's tome will tell you how many of each type you've caught, along with the smallest and larger sizes. Another important tip to know is that every fish you come across responds only to your presence, no matter what. So don't worry about competition. Or that other wizards will scare away the fish. <laughs> You're the only one who can do that. Right. Now that I've explained the basics of our magical fishing, let me give you the Lesser Frost Lure. It's a good basic lure spell. Go to the water behind old Zeke over there and use the Lesser Frost Lure to catch a frost decoy and an ice cuda. Okay. And by, by behind him, he means this water over here. This is the water where the ice cuda and the frost decoy are at. Let me show you what I mean about the, the fishing tactics where you don't have to use cancel and stuff like that. You can't see my uh, cursor on here. I wish I had turned it on, but I hadn't. But all you got to do, the first time you, you have to click your lure to get it out there. But if you want to move it, hit the space bar. And it'll cancel it right out. And then hit the space bar again. Hang on a minute. Okay. He got a little bit far away. There's, a, there's, a, there's one of those little tiny ones we're talking about, the small fry. We'll catch that one just because you can't see it. It's a tiny, tiny little blip down there. And I missed it. I, I cast it too far behind him. You want to give these things a good... Uh, he's moving fast. You look at that. That should have got it. You want to give these guys a good lead ahead whenever you're fishing for them. You want to cast that lure a good... See how he, now he wants to dodge me. That's going to be a good fish. You want to get that lure a good bit ahead of these guys. They say close to it, but it's not true. You want to get ahead of the nose by a good inch or so. So they'll swim into it. Now look, he is swimming through that lure. What's up with that? That's weird. That's too far. Oh, no, he got it anyway. He turned into it. Nice. That fish is very odd. He's acting very oddly, like he might not be a decoy. Like he might be a better fish than that, even. What is this fish? Oh, no, it's a, it's a frost decoy. It's just a tiny one. Cool. All right, we got a frost decoy. Now we need an ice cuda. Now, as far as these ice fish that go over here, that are over here go, the slow, generally the slowest moving, not trying to get away fish, are the ice kudas. All the kudas generally move really slowly and are easy to catch. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. See, there you are, ice kuda. That's what I figured. So that was both fish in two casts. Let me get over here. He's gonna tell us something. I'm not. All right, I'll listen. The to small it. globe next to your health and mana globes is your energy, which you'll use for hobbies like right. gardening, fishing, and pet games. 
Okay. Here, Lucky, we give you your huh? stuff. Look at the sizes of the frost decoy and ice cooter you caught. I reckon that must have taken a bit out of you. Um, uh, no, my frost decoy was like a minnow. <laughs> As you may have noticed, fishing costs energy. Never fear, your energy will replenish over time. Right. But we need to get on with your next fishing lesson. So here, have this energy elixir so we can get started. All right. You ready for your next fishing lesson now? Yeah, sounds like someone's hooked on fishing. Let's get started. You are a bright kid, so I'm sure you noticed that the lesser frost lure I gave you is an ice school spell. Right. And you probably also noticed that the frost decoy and the ice cuda are both ice school fish. Ice fish like ice lures. Makes sense. You can catch non-ice fish with your lesser ice lure, but you'll have a better chance if you buy the other school lures. I have lures for each school I can sell you. Uh, they're not required, but they will help you with your next objective. Catch one shark spear, a mechanical armor head, a catfish, a garfish, a fish sandwich, a mainstream decoy, and bonefish. Okay. Yeah, because I'm nice, I'm not going to tell you to catch seven fish and just wish you luck. I'm going to give you luck. Okay, so he gave us... A full energy bar and fishing luck, which we're going to use on our next day of fishing. Tomorrow is going to be an all fishing day, I do believe. So for now, I'm going to end this video and we'll start the fishing, the full fishing day on the next video, okay? I think we're getting a little bit long. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment about other games or other series you'd like me to play. If you want, just leave a comment to talk to me or ask me questions because I love to talk to you guys back. This is Skella Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up gamers? This is Skella Mystic. Welcome back to another episode of A Day in the Life of a Wizard. In the last episode, we had finished up Cyclops Lane and we had started, finally, our recreational day of fishing. Mr. Hookline over here had given us our first fishing quest, which we finished. And now we're on the quest.